St. John's Church began filling hours before the service to remember a fallen hero, a father, a husband, and a brother. Uh, but he's, he was a great mentor to me. Um, I came into the Catholic faith because faith of my wife, um, and he helped guide me in that and gave me the honor of being his uh, son's godfather. In his 39 years, O'Rourke touched the lives of many, and they spoke fondly of him as a man who served God, his family, and the community. Someday when the kids look back at this, I hope that they see and know what a wonderful man Pat was, and I hope this helps them remember him in such a, an amazing way. O'Rourke built his life around St. John's Church. It's where he married his wife, Amy, and where all four of his children were baptized, a bond strengthened by faith that will keep the family moving forward. I don't know how you could get through it without it. She, she told me the other night it's the Holy Spirit. The sound of taps and the 21-gun salute fills the air, making a lasting impression. Today is the police community coming out to be with the family and to be with their brother officers in West Bloomfield Police Department and just show our respect and make sure the family understands that their sacrifice is not forgotten and will never be forgotten.